friends this is the anemometer which is used for finding the velocity of the wind the sailors pilots use this anemometer for finding their ways also the meteorologists use this anemometer for finding the accurate weather forecast so in this video i will show you how to make this anemometer step by step so let's get started Friends, to make the anemometer, we need some wooden sticks, a pulley, glue, ball pen, empty ball pen, then cutter, paper, glass, and finally we need some wood cardboard. Friends, very first, make a cardboard box like this, and in the center, place the wooden stick like this and stick it with a hot glue gun, and it should be vertically straight. Take out two wooden sticks like this and make one slot like this and so that it can overlap and can be stick like this in 90 degree. Friends, I have stick these sticks with the thin wires you can see here and with the hot glue gun you can make it more firm and it will stick properly with the hot glue gun and then try if it is rotating properly like this friends with the help of sharp pointer make a hole in the ball pen and then fix these wooden sticks vertically now friends stick the ball pen vertically upward and the center point of this side wings is resting on the top of the ball pen and make sure that they are stick properly and the center from the center all the wings are equally distributed and rotate them to ensure the joints are properly sealed then friends take a four paper cup like this and with a sharp pointer make a center in the center make a hole fix the paper cups like this in one direction properly friends with the hot glue gun stick the paper cup to the wooden stick properly friends color the base box with attractive colors like this and the pulley is mounted on the aluminum frame you can see here and it is free to rotate like this with the help of shaft Friends also color the paper cups with attractive colors and decorate it just to look it more attractive and on the shaft we have two stoppers and finally assemble a whole, whole assembly on the vertical shaft like this. Now it's ready for the final test. Friends, to find the velocity of the wind, we have used a pulley arrangement and a dead weight is provided at the end of the thread. So when there is a strong wind, it strikes the four cups and the four cups starts rotating in the direction of the wind. During its operating condition, the dead weight tries to move in the upward direction due to which the thread gets wound around the vertical shaft. Meantime, we need to note down the time required for the dead weight to move up and at the to measure the distance traveled by the dead weight we can provide a scale below the pulley and to find out the velocity of the wind we, we can do that the distance traveled by the dead weight is divided by the time required for the dead weight to travel some distance so now let's see some working of it 
so guys in this instrument it's very important to make sure that all the frictions are eliminated and it is freely rotating so we need to keep it at a height so that it, the four cups can collect the wind and rotate in the direction of the wind due to which this allows the dead weight to change its position and you can measure the velocity of the wind as well as the direction of the wind so guys if you are new to my youtube channel please like subscribe and press the bell icon so that you can get latest updates 